Hi, Scorpio. We're doing someone's perspective here. Wow, North Node popping up. New phases trying to come in here, okay? I feel like someone needs to take action toward their North, the North Star, toward their North Node, their purpose. Okay, so this is a reading from somebody else's perspective. We're going to see how they see you, the situation, how they feel for you, what they want, challenges, and an outcome. I'll pull some advice or a two-week outcome toward the end. We're going to see what's up. Justice blindfolded situation is the star, how they see you, page of cups, they feel, knight of cups, they want something real randy here. The challenge is the knight of cups, lots of knights, something is in flux between you and someone, people are needing some direction, okay, because I feel like things are kind of up and down or in and out between you and this individual right now, it could be energetic for some of you, others of you, it's actually played out like that, like, you know, in and out. All right, revolving door kind of energy. But I feel like this is someone needing some clarity, needing to understand. And this is what they're feeling. They're feeling topsy turvy. Happy go lucky is what I'm hearing. Maybe they feel like you're very happy go lucky here with this page of cups energy. Let me see what the situation is with the star. It's like, do you see what I see? Do you feel how I feel? Okay, is that a Christmas reference? Do you see what I see? The star. I feel like someone wants you to see them. There's like uh, someone could be peacocking or trying to show up as them best as their best self here. What do I say about this star? Five of Swords, exactly. I want what I want. Okay, Veruca Salt is that her name? Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Strength and the Ace of Cups. Yeah. So guess what? Someone has real strong desires about this situation with you, Scorpio. There's an Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords here. This is talking about someone's um, fulfillment right now and their purpose, okay? They feel like they're being aligned here. When we're talking about North Node energy, this is someone who's aligning with you, aligning their desires with you. Maybe they're projecting a desire onto you as well, especially if it's physically with this Strength card energy. Someone wants to be able to act on the situation. The Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck is talking about a decision that could be coming into play coming into practice okay someone is practicing speaking up saying what it is that they feel what they want here someone is in love period someone's in love okay and i feel like they're stifling this two of pentacles exactly let me see how they see you with this page of cups i'm hearing the creme de la creme femme fatale Fatal Attraction, Page of Cups, Femme Fatale. <laughs> Let me see about this Page of Cups. Um, okay, so Tower popping up here for you. That is your energy. Maybe you're um, shocked, stunned, causing a stir. The Seven of Swords. This is how they see you. They see that, wow, I feel you. I feel that, okay? Hmm. You're a little bit hard to pin down according to this person, all right? This is not me saying this, I'm reading cards. They feel or they see you as someone who's very curious and with the Fool card, you're unencumbered. You're free to do what you want. You do mostly do what you want according to this person. They feel like you are um, exhibiting some sort of risky behavior or risque behavior here, okay? It does look like when it comes to relationships or commitments, you're a little bit hard to pin down and that's what this person is referring to. It's almost like I don't know what this person wants. I don't know what Scorpio wants. I don't know what Scorpio is doing. I don't know what they're getting at. I don't know what their angle is. I don't know what their aim is all right so that's where this curiosity is coming in about this person let me see how they feel for you with this knight of cups like the scorpio like relationships it's almost like this the two of wands again the two of wands yeah with this knight of cups energy this is someone who's a little bit um lacking a little bit of direction okay and and that's why this is also part of the challenge all right the feelings the feelings are the challenge here now here's the deal okay someone could be wanting to express to you something that they feel this is like you make me so happy scorpio i feel we could do this for real with this ten of cups energy scorpio but there's like some friction this person is feeling um it feels very inside or uh because they don't know where you stand or what you feel it's almost like i don't know if i should say this with this judgment card energy okay and this two of wands yeah Someone's having trouble expressing their feelings, even though they do feel a lot of feelings for you, period. 
Let me see this Knight of Wands. I want, okay, yeah, Eight of Swords, exactly. That makes sense, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Wands, and the Tower, interesting. This is about someone's confidence, okay? We do have the Eight of Swords here with that Seven of Wands. Someone feels like something is misplaced or they're not sure if they should take action or not here. They're up in their head. They're overthinking things, okay? They feel like, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I shouldn't want this. Maybe I shouldn't be acting upon my desires here with Scorpio because they have those desires. This is a lot of fire energy, okay? This is talking about that passion, that force. That Mars energy is popping up here. So I am seeing some, some pa like lust, passion, this kind of energy wanting to come in this is what this person wants and they're not sure that they should be acting upon it here to cause some sort of breakthrough with you to get down the defenses with you that's what this is talking about that's what this person is desiring to have a breakthrough especially physically let me see about this knight of cups it's like let me destroy the walls between you and me baby okay let me see about this knight of cups interesting Sun, Empress, Five of Cups, okay, interesting challenge, Scorp. Sun, that's the challenge already, yeah. So we are talking about the challenge, and the Five of Wands can't indicate a challenge. We did pretty much discuss this. It's kind of repeating right here. So this is what this is saying. Um, someone is kind of keeping to themselves their emotions, and it's not being expressed. So part of the challenge is actually expressing something and kind of having that confidence to be able to put themselves out there to talk about what they actually want or how they're feeling here with the Sun card to bring that clarity. Yeah, expressing love. Someone is in love with the Star card, the Eight of Wands, and the Sun. This is like, I'm in love with you. You're my person. Um, I feel this way. This is what I want. This is what I desire all over the place here, okay? So I feel like someone's falling in love with you, Scorpio. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. So the challenge is them telling you this. So tell me about the outcome with the Knight of Swords. That's an interesting outcome because that's like an intimidation energy. And you came out like this, I think, in your last reading. Did you? I feel like you did. Okay, Knight of Swords. An outcome. The Queen of Cups and the Devil. Naughty, naughty world huh scorpio what is this ace of swords ace of wands knight of swords again ace of swords ace of wands so in the outcome, I do feel like someone is going to be expressing something here. All right. I do. I really do. Because it's almost like something is um, stifled or like they feel like it's being pent up for far too long. Someone is going to attempt to get their confidence up and express themselves. Now, as far as how you're taking it, I'm not so sure because it almost looks like there could be, I don't know if it's frustration or anger here coming in. It could be. There's a little bit of an intimidation factor that someone is feeling when it comes to speaking to you, telling you how they feel. But again, this links back to someone's confidence of this, um, this situation here. Ooh. Yeah, they're fearful, guys. I don't know. This is someone getting intimidated. Okay, I don't know if they're actually going to say something. It's like, should I decide to say it or not? Say it, don't spray it. All right. All right, let me get you a next two weeks between you and this person. It's like someone has like this desire, like a real strong burning desire. I'm gonna call it burning desire then. Okay, you and this person in the next two weeks, Scorpio. Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. Ooh, so it is, and so it is. The Star, the Nine of Cups, Six of Wands. 
yeah, someone's speaking up for real. It is. All right. Someone's speaking up. The two of cups is here. There's some clarity. There's some movement. I feel like people are going to understand the other person's perspective, point of view here, how you want to come together or not. All right. That's what's happening. The star and the nine of cups, both of these are talking about wish fulfillment and their success here with the six of wands. So it's happening and it's working out in a nice way. There's the ace of cups here. So it feels like this person. Okay. And this star card is talking back to this here. All right. So there's movement. I do see movement. Wow. Yeah, talking about feelings, about this connection. All right, so it is happening. Heads up. Scorpio. Maybe this is a Libra, an Aquarius. Um, fire sign. I don't know. Leo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, any earth sign? I'm not sure. All right, Scorpio. Feels ambiguous, this reading, guys. Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Chariot. I'm hearing making an amendment. Okay, so I feel like there's something that needs to be amended between you and this person. Um, it looks like some changes have to be made so that things can move forward here between you and this person, all right? Also, some scattered energy is going to be clearing out. So the lack of direction is clearing out. The frustration is clearing out here. You guys could be needing to settle some amount of frustration between you and this person even. Oh, that sounds like um, like seeing someone here. Maybe somebody wants to see you. Three of Wands. Yeah, this is talking about distance, Knight of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like if something is um, trying to move too fast or the plans are not appropriate for the time period, there's something about you specifically, Scorpio. Maybe you're putting some more thought into this moving forward here. Um, there could be a little bit of waiting coming in for you. It's like you're anticipating this or someone's speed is different than yours. Scorpio, okay? Someone someone could be wanting to go faster or see you sooner or or speed things up between you and them. And you're kind of like, let's just chill for a minute. Okay. Four of wands. I mean, four of cups. You're looking forward... Um, for more stability here. Maybe you want to stabilize the emotions of a situation or you want to stabilize, period. Like you could be counting on stability before anything else happens at this point. All right. Let me see what this person wants to say to you. I was a distraction. I love you unconditionally. You keep getting this I love you stuff. Someone is worried that you don't feel the same here, Scorpio. They love you. Someone loves you, period. All right. It's like they need more focus here. They want you to come into focus or have this situation come into focus with you. All right. Have a breakthrough with you. They don't know if you're serious about them. That's what this is. Maybe you're not. I don't know. It's up to you. All right. I have a seal like faith in myself. I told you someone is working on the confidence. I have a seal like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. Warrior of light. Okay, hold on a minute.
This is also telling me that you guys have a decision to make. Especially when it comes to telling this person what's really up. That's what I feel. Okay. So the Divine Mother is here. It says unconditional love. Oh my gosh, stop. I feel like this is for this person too. This is someone getting that confidence up. I feel these cards are for your person, Scorpio. It's kind of weird, but anyway. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. I feel like someone's being real hard on themselves here. They feel like you're going to judge them or like you don't feel the same. That's what this is, okay? This is someone who really loves you and they don't care. This is like the absence of judgment. They're like, I hope you don't judge me. I don't judge you. It's kind of like this. Not saying that you would. I don't feel like Scorpios are very judgy. But that's my experience with people, I guess. This is someone who's afraid. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is someone needing that um, that confidence to take action, to do something. And I feel like these cards are for them. So I don't know, guys. Love you so very much, Scorpio. Feel free to check your other placements. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, peep and Tom. Peep and Tom down the street. Check their placements too so we know they're up to kisses. Love you. Bye.